Hi, today we are making a sous vide round roast. Very cheap roast and it's going to be tender and medium rare. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and cooking ideas. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and check out some of my other videos. Welcome back to anyone who's returning. Okay, so what I have here is a about a three pound inside round roast. Uh, normally, this is something you'd cook in a slow cooker or pot roast or some long and slow way of cooking which we are, it is going to be long and slow. This is going to be a 24 hour cook using the sous vide and my instant pot liner and a, a, a rack underneath so that you don't uh, have heat on your counter. 24 hours is a long time, but with a roast like this, the longer you go, the more tender it's going to be. Just to review the principles of sous vide, it is the temperature that determines whether you're going to cook it medium, medium rare, well done. And it's the length of time that determines the tenderness. So a roast like this, um, I've heard of people cooking them for 36 hours, but I find that 24 hours is plenty. Even, even 20 would probably do it. But we're gonna go for 24 hours. We're going to uh, go for a lower temperature than what I tried the other day with my round steaks because they weren't quite they weren't quite red enough for me inside. So I'm going to put this down to 130 degrees and see what we end up with tomorrow at dinner time. I think it's going to be good. This is this is my instant pot circulator, and basically you put it in the water. You bring it up to the temperature you want it. It just kind of hooks on to your instant pot liner. You don't have to use an instant pot liner just because this is an instant pot wand, magic wand it is. Um, you can use you know any type of a container that you have. I'm going to bring the temperature down to 130. And then the time I need 24 hours. So I'm just going to hold it down till it gets to 24 hours. 24 hours and we'll wait for that to heat up. So uh, this has a max uh, level on it for water. I anticipate that the roast will displace a lot of the water and, and bring that up. But um, you know, if it doesn't bring it up all the way, I am going to fill it all the way because when you're cooking it for 24 hours, there will be some water evaporation and we want the whole roast to be submerged in the water if possible. So I might need to top this up. Um, I'm going to use a large Ziploc bag. It, this is BPA free, microwave safe. Now I have heard from some of you who who feel that, that that is not enough, and that may be true, um, I don't know. Uh, so what I did, uh, I've been looking into it, I've been researching. You can sous vide in glass, but it doesn't really work for a roast or a steak because you, you know, it works for things like cheesecakes and eggs and things like that. Some of you have asked me if there was glass sous vide. Um, the other, option is these silicon bags. I just got these from Amazon. I feel like they will work for steaks uh, just because of their shape and how you know how wide they are. I, I, I really don't I mean this is the biggest bag that I got in the kit. These are reusable. They're made of silicon which apparently is is uh, quite a step up from these but I just didn't want to try to fight this roast into this small, what looks to me like it's just not going to fit. But I just wanted to tell you that they were available and I'm going to, my next sous vide video, whenever that is, maybe in a week or so, I'm going to do steaks and I'll do them in, in these bags and see how that works. But for today, I am going to do the, the baggie 
And first, I want to season the roast. I'm just going to rub the salt and pepper in on all sides. This is salt, kosher salt with white pepper. It's kind of my go-to because I can't do black pepper. So I'm going to put it in here. Okay. Okay, so what, what I've done is I've squeezed a lot of the air out and I've left a little gap because when I lower this in, it will, in theory, squeeze, the water will squeeze the rest of the air out. And then, well, my technique probably needs some work, but. At any rate, I'm clipping it on with these ordinary bag clips. And, and now we wait. 24 hours. 24 hours of tenderness. So I will be back here tomorrow night, hopefully showing you my wonderful medium rare roast beef dinner. We'll see you then. Okay, it is done. I'm going to take our roast out. So one thing I, I want to mention that I always find a little weird about sous vide cooking is that you don't smell your roast cooking. <laughs> so if, if, if you love to have your whole kitchen smelling of roast beef, um, this doesn't do that. But as soon as we open this, it, uh, we will smell it then. So, yeah, here we are. A roast in a bag. Okay, so what I, oops. So what I've done, is I have turned on the broiler. I'm going to broil this for five minutes or so. I'm just gonna get rid of this. So with sous vide, your roast or your steaks or whatever you're cooking has been in a water bath for how many hours you've allowed that to happen and there's no browning. And so at the end of your sous vide session, uh, for steaks, you, you can do a cast iron pan. Um, I did some in the air fryer. With a roast, it's uh, easier to put it under the broiler, um, four or five minutes per side, and that should do it. All right, so I'm going to put this in, set the timer for five minutes. All right. I Sadly, put it on the bottom shelf, and that, but I did discover it almost right away, and so then I moved it up to the top shelf. So, I'm just going to let this rest for a couple minutes. Maybe there are some juices in there that might do something, I don't know. It is a very, it's like the leanest roast I've ever seen. And then I'm going to try out my new gadget. I actually bought this to use on protein sparing bread because you can cut really thin slices if you use an electric knife. This is just a cheap uh, Hamilton Beach electric knife. Came with this too. So I am going to try it out on this meat because I want to try to get some nice, really thin slices for roast beef sandwiches. So we'll see how I do with that. I think I've waited enough. All right. Actually had some juice in there. I'm surprised. All right. Oh boy, let's see how we do here. Oh, that's what this is for to hold this down. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> 
It's okay, Teddy. It's okay. Mama's okay. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, it does cut it really thin. All right, should I keep going? Teddy, sit. That's a good dog. I'll give you a piece in a minute, okay? All right, well, look at that. We've got, I don't know what we have, but uh, it looks like there's some juices in there. Maybe I'll just cut it with a knife. How about that? One more time. Oh, Teddy. It makes such nice slices. All right, well, for the sake of just finishing this up here, I'm going to just use my knife. But look at that. Look at those. Uh, that's a pretty nice center. Oh, I kind of like that better. This, this knife is not going to do it quite as nicely as that contraption. We're going to have some nice sandwiches here. I think it's time I tried some though. Don't forget our taste tester. All right, let me see here. Let's take a piece from here. Look at that. One, one thing I like about sous vide is you get that end-to-end -end color. And it's really just the outside that, um, you know, that has the gray edges and inside it's pink from one end to the other. Mm, mm, mm. That is exactly what I was waiting for. Okay, Teddy, your turn. Mm. Yes. It is perfect. It is tender. It is juicy. Most importantly, it is cheap. I love it. This is how I will survive protein sparing modified fast. If I can have juicy, medium rare beef and it is still staying in the macros, I'm a happy camper. I am just so happy with this. I could probably just sit here and eat half a roast beef here. <laughs> mm. Okay, I'll share. I'll share. Here you go. All right, so um, other than the fact that my dog hates the new knife, um, this, to me, this was a success. I'm very happy with this. I would definitely make this again. I can hardly wait to try out some other lean roast beef cuts. This was an, it was an outside round roast, kind of similar to those uh, round steaks that I made last time. And uh, so I know there's others that, that we can try. There's the sirloin roasts are quite lean, bottom round, uh, flank steak is quite lean. Um, I can hardly wait to try some more. This turned out so good. So uh, let me know if you've done this before or if you're going to try it if you're thinking that mm, maybe this is for you or not it's okay um, i i'm excited about it i will do my next steaks in the silicon bags i bought i, I do want to give these a try and uh, i think the biggest issue that i can see is me trying to get all the air out but i but i I think I've kind of figured out how to do that. So I will try those out on the next video. I'll get a couple of steaks and uh, we'll, we'll do that. So, well, not the next, next video, but the next sous vide video, because um, I've got some other ideas coming up soon. So I will see you next time. Everybody take care. See you again.
let's eat. So, what is it called? This is my Instant Pot Circulate, no, no, no. What is it called? No. Instant, Instant Pot, Pot Circulator. Just found my trivet. I can't believe that at my age, it's my first time using an electric knife. What's this for? Oh, never mind. That's gonna pop lanes out. <laughs> Looks like there's some juices in there. 